Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. We have got a big video today. Uh, we've got a lot of calves coming in. So lots of stuff to do before the new group comes in. But one thing I haven't showed you is two new calves. So you saw these two new ones last week. They're all doing well. They've got their new ear tags. These are the other two new ones. So these are actually from a dairy I've never picked up from before. These are still going to be Angus Holstein crosses. These are two heifer calves. They are pretty tall. So gonna be pretty framey heifers, definitely not gonna be ones that I keep as cows. Uh, not that I plan on keeping any as cows anyway, but but this one, she's got some Holstein markings. So um, these two did come quite a bit cheaper than all the other calves I've been getting. Um, this one on the left here, the solid black one, she is actually, her mother's a brown Swiss Holstein cross. So she does have a little brown tint to her. Um, but pretty much she's a solid black little heifer calf. So anyway, happy with these two. I've had them for about three days now. They are off to a good start and uh, no issue so far. Um, I'd be happy to get some other calves from this dairy if possible. Um, these are big girls, so happy with them. And as you guys can tell, I'm running out of room to put calves. As you can see behind me, we have got this old barn, which I used to raise quite a few calves in. And I may end up having to clean all this out and start putting calves in here because I am pretty much completely out of room and dairy farms keep calling me saying they've got calves for me. So uh, I need to figure something out because I'm supposed to get eight calves this evening, three of those, um, two of them are heifers, one's a bull. I'm supposed to give them to a friend to help them get started with bottle calves, but the other five bulls I'm supposed to keep. So, um, so I've already got five more bulls coming and then I just got off the phone with one dairy. They've got five more that I'm gonna pick up here in a couple days, hopefully. Uh, so, I'm pretty much out of room in the big barn, and I'm also out of room on the heat wave. That thing can feed 30 calves at once. Um, I've got 20 on it right now, but I have no more room in that barn to put more calves in those pens. So, um, the heat wave is pretty much maxed out at this point. I like it so far, it's working. Uh, but I don't know if I can justify buying a second one just yet, because I've gotta spend a bunch of money on all these calves coming in. Uh, I don't know if buying another heat wave is right for me just yet, but as you guys know, I used to raise calves on the milk bar the last season, and I've still got those two milk bars. So that's probably what these two pins are going to turn into. Have nine in this side, have nine in this side, and then I'll have another group in a separate barn. So that's the plan as of now. Uh, I may still get another heat wave, I'm not sure, but at this point I'm gonna have one heat wave going and two milk bars. We've got the bulls in this pasture here, so I'm gonna have to throw these panels up again, put some T-posts in, get this barn cleaned out because all the bulls have been lounging in here all summer, and uh, they've pretty much, pretty much filled this barn in with manure. So, got a lot of work to do, uh, especially before this next group of five comes in. So, here's the new group of calves. We've got three black white face, we've got one red white face, and then one solid black here. And he is a hairy booger, so he's got a lot of fur on him. Um, this one here is obnoxiously loud. The lady I got him from, she warned me before I picked him up. She said he moves constantly, so good luck with him. So, uh, we've got, got one that's a little rambunctious. Um, the red one is on the smaller side. Probably got some more jersey in him than the others. But, uh, but yeah, so far, they all look great. I'm pretty happy with them if they all turn out well, so. Like I just mentioned, I was supposed to pick up eight calves and give two heifers and one bull away uh, to a different guy, and that did not happen. So the lady had actually sold uh, the heifer calves. The lady had actually sold the heifer calves before I'd gotten there, and she's been saving all the bulls for me, but she had sold the heifer calves, so. Um, that guy did not get any heifers, but the next batch I get from this lady, I'm probably gonna give him three of those calves. But anyway, I'll show you where I'm gonna put these guys. You guys may remember this pen here. I raised quite a few calves in this pen as well, just in this little barn. I'd have nine in here at a time. Um, as you can see, the weeds have all grown up. I did take a machete into this pen and I chopped most of the ragweed mostly to get to these hog panels here so I can make some calf pens. And I did actually throw some rye down and it did start growing. Uh, I didn't really plan on putting calves in here just yet. But like I said, we are pretty much out of room. So I'm gonna do some more chopping in here to get these weeds cut down. Um, but I think it's pretty much ready for calves. 
I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time I raised calves. I'm gonna hang the milk bar just on this continuous fence here and uh, we'll feed them that way. So this one's the big dude. He probably weighs a good 80 pounds. The other ones are all decent size, like I said, besides the red one there. I and mean, he's probably 60 pounds, 50 or 60. So uh, the one big benefit about these calves is that the lady I get them from, she trains them to a milk bar. Um, so all these calves should be used to drinking off a milk bar. They've been on it for the last couple days. So uh, it won't be hard to get them adjusted and uh, used to it but one thing they are not used to is all this space and grass so they have not been outside much um, that's the loud one as you can tell they have not been outside much since they were, since they were born so this is all new to them this furry one here you can tell he's quite a bit older than the other ones maybe four or five days older um, he just got a look to him, you can kind of tell. Um, that one is pretty young, as well as that one is really young. Uh, these others are... These others are rambunctious, but hey, you can't suck on me. And these guys are used to being fed at 8.30 in the evening, so uh, we'll get them adjusted to a little bit earlier than that. Probably about 7 or so. Um, so this evening, it's probably going to be too dark for you guys to see, uh, but these guys are going to get their first feeding on the milk bar, and uh, they're going to get used to this uh, new pen here. And guys, I had someone ask in the last video what I'm doing to control the mice and rodents um, from getting to the milk powder. And he just caught this little rat here, so. That is the mouse control. He sleeps in the calf barn in the straw and uh, takes care of the little critters that run by, so. Anyway, so we've got these five in this pen. As you guys know, the milk bar will feed 10 at a time. It has 10 nipples on it, so. I'm going to feed these older four tonight and tomorrow morning, and then I'm gonna kick them into the pen with all the new ones. So we'll get these guys trained to a milk bar um, since they are a little older, it will take them a little more time to get used to it, but um, then we'll have a pen of nine in the outdoor pen, so. What you just saw me do there, I was trying to open up one of these straw bales I bought. I purchased two of these four by five and a half round bales of straw. And uh, as you can see, I partially purchased some plastic. Um, and I'm not too impressed. Uh, this stuff is so fine. The bale doesn't hold together whatsoever. Um, so when I pulled the tractor forks out, 
the whole top just came with the forks and the whole bale is pretty much unmovable now. So learn my lesson when I open up this one, I'm not going to do it where I don't want it. So anyway, you guys saw a video or two back. I purchased 15 small square bales of straw and I burned through that in like two weeks. So uh, I went through that pretty quick. Uh, these things, two of these round bales here was the same price as all 15 of those other small square bales. And this is probably twice the amount of twice the amount of straw. So you get more straw for your money, but it is a whole lot more work to get this moved and unrolled and put in their pen. Versus having square bales, you can just pop open in their pen and let them spread it out. So anyway, now that this bale is completely broken apart, I'm gonna try to get some of it moved into the barn. And I definitely have to get this bale out of here before this weekend because we are gonna be weaning calves in this concrete area and they're gonna absolutely destroy these straw bales. So I need to get something figured out. I need to move this whole entire opened bale probably before tomorrow. Anyway, that's the story on the straw. I'm still not sure if these two bales will last me the whole season. Um, I'm not using it sparingly, so. so I may end up having to purchase a couple more from this guy, but he had, I think, 20-some bales sitting there, so. He's got plenty for me to choose from if I need some later. Just gotta do a little bit more work to get these into the calf pens. So as you guys may have noticed, I am posting twice a week now. I'm posting every Thursday morning and every Sunday morning. I've just got so much going on with the bottle calves that I can make multiple videos a week. Because if I tried to compile it all into one video, it would be a 30-some minute video. So decided to break it up into two videos a week. So stay tuned for those every Thursday and Sunday morning. I'll be posting another video. Like I said, I've got so many bottle calves coming here soon and that means a lot more videos. So stay tuned for those. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And with that being said, I will see y'all next time.